What's going on guys? So, I was contacted by an app a little while ago. Uh, the name is Snups, so this video is brought to you guys by Snups. And they actually have a really, really cool app where you like go and you make like, you know, you can take pictures of your collection and you can share it and you can join groups with similar interests. So like I made a group for my channel. Um, and yeah, I'll be talking more about the app later on, but uh, basically it's about showing off your collection and I thought, well, I've never shown off my video game collection on my channel. Now a lot of you guys may have seen the very old video on Alex's channel of me showing off my game collection, but uh, as you may know, that was before the Wii U was even released. So, you know, there's quite a few different games since that came out, obviously. So I thought that it would be a cool video idea. Um, that would go along really, really well with the uh, promotion. So, without further ado, let's show you my games, I guess. Uh, side note, my collection is not very impressive by anybody's standards, really, uh, especially anybody my age. So I guess we should probably start with the oldest games, uh, which is, in my case, GameCube, because I don't have any, like, retro games. I think I have some NES games, like, you know, somewhere in my life. Um, not here present at the moment. So let's pull these out. Alright, so, GameCube games old stuff. This is like, GameCube was probably like my first real console. We had an N64 when I was like born, but I didn't play it because I wasn't like conscious of what was going on in my surroundings. So GameCube was pretty much my first console. So this is where we have most of the games. Most of these games aren't even mine. They're my brothers and I'm just kind of like, <laughs> they're mine now. So yeah, so the, this is our this is more so my brother's GameCube collection than it is mine. But uh, for starters, you know we gotta hit him with that <laughs> Madden 03, classic game, classic. It is a must-have in anybody's gamer collection. Uh, Universal Hollywood Studios is that? Oh no, Universal. Sorry, Hollywood Studios is that is that's Disney. Okay. Mm, okay, Universal Theme Park Adventure. Another another classic. Got E.T., Jurassic Park, Back to the Future on the... Is that back? Yeah, that's totally Back to the Future. That would have been double embarrassing if it wasn't. All right, uh, Harry Potter in the Goblet of Fire. Not gonna lie, some of the old, like, movie game spinoffs were actually, like, really good. I don't really remember this one being phenomenal, but I remember one that I used to play on the PC that was, like, maybe... I think it was honestly for the first Harry Potter movie, and it was, like... Phenomenal, if I do say so myself. But uh, next we have Lord of the Rings, The Third Age. Is, are these going to ever focus on the actual game itself? Probably not. Um, we can hope, though. Uh, so this is actually a two-disc game. It was too big, so they literally just made two discs on it. I honestly don't know. I never played it. This was my brother's game. All right, next we have a One Piece, The Grand Adventure. So uh, this was a fighting game. If I... Yeah. This was definitely a fighting game. Next, Gauntlet Dark Legacy. I have a lot of memories with this one, especially. Um, again, this was like one of those games where like, I was too young to play it, but I kind of tried to play it anyways, but I more so just ended up watching my siblings play it, and my and like my cousin, and like, yeah, great memories with this one, classic. I actually saw an arcade cabinet for it, and I almost pissed myself, so that was, that was fun too. Uh, SpongeBob Battle for the Bikini Bottom, it, Kind of makes me sad that it's like the player's choice one because it like, you have that stupid ugly yellow band on it. But this honestly, like, I don't know if this like won any like game of the year awards, but <laughs> definitely deserves to win one in 2018. Solid game, if you couldn't tell. Uh, Sonic 2 Adventure Battle, right? No, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I People always get mad at me for saying that in the wrong order, but uh, the only Sonic game I've really ever played. Uh, a lot of people ask me, hey, you like Sonic? And I'm like, yeah, totally. <laughs> Final Fantasy, Crystal Chronicles. So this was another game that like I tried to play and I like have memories of playing it, but not like a lot. Uh, I don't really remember, mm, I just remember some visuals. Uh, they announced an HD remake and that kind of made me cry even though I don't know why when I I don't remember the, playing the game, so, but I, I remember being good, if that counts for anything. I remember like not, not, not enjoying it, 
<laughs> okay, Lego Star Wars 2. Is this the complete? No, this is just the original trilogy. I don't know why they made Lego Star Wars the first one for the prequel trilogy. That's just a bad idea. But uh, this is the original trilogy one. This is actually one of my GameCube games. That's like wholly mine and nobody else's. Super Monkey Ball 2, another game. Never really played it. I little bit. I don't know, I got Super Monkey Ball on the 3DS and, and I don't know, it just never really jived well with me, I guess. Just never got into it. But, uh, I don't know, kind of good, I guess. Uh, okay, this game right here. Mario Superstar Baseball. Superstar. Now, if you want to talk about a superstar of a game, we're talking about Mario Superstar Baseball because this is a freaking classic. This is when Mario sports games were good and it, it just, that just speaks for itself. They're, Top tier game. You get you go and you put Yoshi and Birdo at shortstop and you literally can't lose. And if you do manage to lose somehow, you suck. So next, Super Mario Strikers. <laughs> if there was a better Mario sports game than Mario Superstar Baseball, it is Mario Super Strikers. Or just Mar Super Mario Strikers, sorry. Mm. Anyways, yeah, so this is basically Mario Soccer. Plot twist. Uh, and it is in my opinion, the best Mario sports game ever made. I believe we lost our disc a very, very long time ago, but we still have the case, so I don't know, maybe I'll like pawn that off for like a million dollars or something, but until then, we're stuck with the case. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee, the worst Smash game of them all. I don't know why people hype this up so much. I'm also kidding. Please do not castrate me. I, it, that was a joke. It was a joke. Okay, but yeah, Super Smash Bros. Melee. I played this game a lot, actually. Brawl is definitely the one that I played the most, but Melee and Brawl are the two that I played. I played that way more than I played Smash 4. Pikmin 2. Okay, one of my favorite Nintendo franchises, by far, is Pikmin. They're just so cute. They're just so cute and lovable. And oh, wow, the game is actually in the case. Most of our games are not in the case, and we keep them like in like a little carrying thing. But uh, love Pikmin 2. Such a great game. Um, oh, here's, we're getting to, we're getting to my favorite games here. <laughs> Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, the, uh, the console that Twilight Princess is meant to be played on, and if you prefer it on the Wii, again, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Um, maybe I'm being a little too direct here, a little too opinionated, and this video is also almost at nine minutes long, and, <laughs> oh, yikes. Uh, so maybe I should speed this up a little bit, but, uh, Twilight Princess, solid game. Not my favorite Zelda game, but uh, Wind Waker speaks for itself. Love Wind Waker, big fan. One of my favorite 3D Zelda games, the, also the first Zelda game that I've ever played. Um, and I'm pretty sure I watched my brother play through the entire game before I played through it myself. Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance, so another game that I've never played that my brother was like a huge fan of. Um, and I actually, yeah, we'll get to that later. Um, Supposed to be a good Fire Emblem game, but never gotten to playing it. Mario Kart Double Dash. I don't even know if we have the disc for this one. It's not in the case, and I don't remember it being in the carrying case. So, uh, I've actually never played Mario Kart Double Dash, so I can't really say much about it. Um, this right here, the Zelda Collector's Edition, was probably one of the main reasons of how I got into The Legend of Zelda originally, because it had Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. So, leading up to Skyward Sword, we already had all of the 3D Zelda games playable. So that was awesome. So this is definitely, I attribute this game, this uh, collection largely to why I became a uh, Zelda fan. And then uh, SpongeBob the SquarePants movie. Uh, I'm 90% sure that this is actually Alex's game and I borrowed it from him one summer and was supposed to give it back and then I kind of forgot and I'm think he bought another copy of it. Um, so, thanks Alex for the game. You a real one. All right guys, sorry, so this is kind of weird because like this is all done, but I realized how long this video was and I was planning to put this at the end, but it's really, really long, so I'm doing it now. But, um, so as I was saying earlier, this video is sponsored by Snups and I'm usually pretty apprehensive about working with apps just because mm, typically like I don't, I only want to promote something that I think is really, really interesting and neat. Uh, and so Snups reached out to me and I looked into their app and it's actually really, really cool. Uh, it's 
basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to share your collections with a wider audience than just like your immediate friend group. Um, so it lets you go and you can go and you can, so we'll go to my profile here and uh, as you can see uh, I have a few shelves. So I have games, my favorite things, book slash manga, plushies collection, and wall art. So going to wall art, you know I have a bunch of pictures of all of the different things on my wall and plushies. I have all of the pictures of all my different plushes. You can even add like descriptions to things. So here's my cappy hat signed by Reggie. So this is my hat signed by Reggie. He's obviously a big deal. So the hat is a big deal. And uh, so it lets you share. You can even share, you know, like your stories with it with memories and stuff. Um, it also allows you to join groups. So if we look at my group, so I'm here in a few groups, but the most important one to me, obviously, is the group that I made for you guys. Uh, so Thick Fish Army, if you guys want to join, all the links and stuff are in the description. Uh, but here's our group right here. Um, so as you can see, there's quite a few people in it because I shouted it out on the Discord already. But uh, let's see, let's ask you guys a question. Let's see. Um, send your favorite item. Or let's do, let's send your favorite Nintendo item in your collection. Start discussion. There we go. So it's pretty easy to share anything inside of the groups and it just lets you interact with people in a pretty organic way in my opinion. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. So join the group. Uh, again, it's Thickfish Army and you can also follow me on the app at Jacob's Ocarina. Uh, if you guys want to follow me personally, uh, you can do that as well. And um, yeah, so all of the links and stuff are in the description if you guys want to download the app and join the groups. Again, Jacob's Ocarina and Thickfish Army if you guys want to join. Again, I really look forward to seeing what you guys have to say and I will definitely be using this app in the future because, I don't know, it lets me interact with you guys on another level and I love that. So, download Snups guys, thank you. Back to the video. All right, let's go to the DS games. We gotta move the 3DS games out of the way first. Oh god, those are all gonna fall. Oh no. Oh no, everything is falling. Oh my god, my life is falling apart. Holy crap. Okay, let's, let's rotate, let's twist, rotate, pivot. All right, DS games, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> <laughs> My Sims. I honestly don't know what the objective of this game was. I remember playing it a lot, I remember hang gliding, and I didn't know how to make money. And I kinda sucked at it, and I got it when I was in like middle school, so... Yeah, okay, I was kinda stupid, okay? Thanks. Um, Zoo Tycoon DS. Let me say, I played the freaking crap out of this game. So gr I loved Zoo Tycoon growing up. Like, playing it on the PC, Zoo Tycoon, Roller Coaster Tycoon, that was my bread and butter. I don't like butter, so bread and bread and jam. I like jam a lot more than butter. So, Zoo Tycoon DS, solid. It definitely, honestly, I, I feel like there wasn't much of a difference between Zoo Tycoon D DS and the PC versions besides you can't get like dinosaurs in that one. Uh, draw My Life, great if you want to like, I don't know, you can draw like phallic objects that like shoot things. If you're like into that, that's pretty sure that's all that I did. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squad Squadron, an honest embarrassment to the Battlefront series. Yeah, that's all I got to say about that one. Custom Robo Arena. So, I didn't know that Custom Robo was actually like a Nintendo franchise. <laughs> um, and I remember playing this game and having a lot of fun. I got stuck at some point though and couldn't get past it. But I remember having like a blast playing this game. And honestly, like I would love to see it come back to the Switch because it was honestly like really fun. It's like a cool, very interesting type of like mech combat and I'm really into it. Mario Kart 64 DS, uh, honestly didn't really play this much either. I played it a bit on this and the N64 but I've never like beaten the game and I don't even know if I've ever gotten past like 40 stars. Honestly I don't even know if I've ever got like really have gotten much past 20 stars so <laughs> sorry. Um, Spirit Tracks on the DS. Um, Actually, okay, I know like a lot of people kind of hate on this game. It's really not that bad. It's not the best Zelda game ever, but I also don't think that it's a bad addition. I don't really think that there's many bad additions to the Zelda franchise. It's almost like they're all good, and it's just like we kind of hate on the ones that are like the least good. 
and I feel like this falls in that category. But a lot of the music is really charming, and I like it a lot. I also love Toon Link, so I'm a little partial there. Um, I actually used to have Phantom Hourglass, but I had an action replay and I hacked the game so bad that um, I kind of broke it and then sold it to GameStop. Got him. All right, uh, next Pokemon Diamond version. So this was my second Pokemon game ever uh, after Ruby, and this was probably when I like really got into the Pokemon series. And yeah, Gen 4 overall, pretty decent. Not my favorite, but yeah, it's up there. I think Gen 3 is still my favorite, but uh, that's because it's my first. I feel like everybody's pretty partial to their first Pokemon generation. Oh my god, this is going to be such a long video. This is going to be like a 30 minute video, and I'm so sorry. Um, wow, okay. Continuing on. Alright, Pokemon Platinum version. Uh, another great Pokemon game. Uh, it's one of the, like the weird middle ones, like, you know, it's like not like a new generation, it's like a half step, but, uh, you know. Pokemon Soul Silver. I think, honestly, this might be one of my, my favorite Pokemon game, period. I don't, also, this isn't like focusing whenever I do that, but, uh, uh, my favorite just the second generation is awesome because you go through Johto and then you get to go back through Kanto and it's like Why can't we do that and have all of them? <laughs> all right, anyways, uh, and then Pokemon white version. I never got Black 2 or white 2 either of those I, that was like the one generation I skipped entirely I don't know why I just didn't really it didn't really like appeal to me right away And then apparently it was like the best ones ever, but I definitely enjoy gen 5. I think more than gen 4 um, I just have more fond memories I guess playing through gen 5 with white version, but um that was just me yo All right, let's go through Wii games because I don't know when did the Wii die again? I don't know Okay, come on Come on I try to keep all of my games in like, oh sh shit. First up, Metroid Prime 3. Never played a Metroid game, so don't really have much to say about it. Pretty sure Alex gave it to me because he had an extra copy. So yeah, let me scoot this down just a tad. Um, all right, next, uh, Cabela's Big Game, hum Big, game Big Game Hunter 2010. Thank you, Mason, for, actually, no, Mason didn't send that to me. Mason sent me the stupid fishing game. Did he? No, actually, yeah, no, I think we got that from, like, my uncle because he never played it. Mm. All right, <laughs> Deca Sports, what a classic. Oh, my God. Actually, I remember this game wasn't so bad. It was, like, one of those, like, Wii Sports knockoffs, like, you know, where they just, you know, a sport compilation game. And honestly, it's, it could have been worse. It could have been worse, could have been better. I'd probably give it, like, a 5 out of 10. Uh, Animal Crossing, City Folk. Never really played this one much. The only Animal Crossing game I've played extensively is the original Animal Crossing on the GameCube, so... Um, but what I did play, I enjoyed. I don't know, I like the whole little city. Obviously, Animal Crossing games are always cute. Uh, Lego Harry Potter, years one through four. Love Lego, love Harry Potter. This is, it's... Child. And I'm about it. I'm here for it. Alright, next. Wii Music, literally the best game on the Wii. I don't, this game gets so much crap. Listen, I genuinely enjoyed playing Wii Music. I don't care what anybody says. Anybody says. This game is good, okay? I enjoyed, I'm not even memeing when I'm saying this. I got some wholesome enjoyment out of playing this game. And most of it is probably just because I really, really enjoy music and like, I I don't know, me being like a bassoon buff or whatever, like, I don't know, but I enjoyed Wii Music, and people hate on it too much, I feel like. Was it worth this 50 or $60 it cost? Maybe not, but I'm pretty sure I got it for like 15 so. Alright, Wii Party. I think I've played this game twice. Wii Play Motion. Uh, again, it's just exactly like Wii Play. The reason why most of us bought it in the first place was for the Wii Motion Plus controller that came with it for the cost of $50 and the game. Great combo. So, uh, yeah, just a, I mean, it was like a just another showcase for what the Wii Motion Plus could do. Uh, it, it was decent. Um, Kirby's Epic Yarn, one of my favorite games, I think, period, ever, of all time. It is so cute, the soundtrack is so great. And it's just like, it's just like a fun game to play. It is not hard, it's not challenging. You literally can't die. Like, you can't lose. The only way you can lose is by quitting the game. So, 
some people may not like that, but honestly, I'm a, I was a big fan of it. I thought it was just like a nice, chill adventure. It was great. Kirby's cute. I stand. All right, next, Sonic Colors. I think I've only gotten like maybe halfway through this game. It wasn't bad, but again, it was like Sonic games just, it just didn't do it for me, I guess. I don't know. It's, it, it wasn't Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, so it just didn't feel right. Sorry, I don't know. A lot of people ask me, like, if I like Sonic. I, I feel bad. I just don't really have much of an opinion on Sonic because I'm just not, like, a big fan of the game. So I don't dislike it. I don't love it. I'm just, like, here. Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. So this was actually pretty much, like, my first introduction to the Donkey Kong Country games. I played the one on the Super NES so little. Like, we had a Super NES. I don't know where the heck that thing went. But, um, honestly, like, I remember playing this game a lot. Like, it was a... It, it is a good game. Like, don't have tell anybody. Don't let anybody tell you it's not. Cause like, I don't know. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, Super Mario Galaxy, classic, classic Wii game. One of the best games, probably, like, arguably one of the best games ever made. Period. So, um, there's really not much to say here. It has like a 98 on Metacritic, and that's probably what I would give it to. I remember it was like, it was one of my first Wii games. I'm pretty sure that I like genuinely played extensively and I got it for Christmas one year and it was oh boy so good speaking of which I actually think I maybe lent my Mario Galaxy 2 to someone at some point in my life and never got it back I actually think I may know who has it and I'm about to call him right now uh, but after the video so we play it's we play there's not much to say about it it's fun has more replayability than other games. Deca Sports. All right, uh, Mario and Sonic at the uh, Olympic Winter Games. We love, we love the winter. I actually don't. I kind of hate the cold. Uh, I live in Georgia, so we don't get cold. I mean, we get cold when it's less than 50, de when it's less than 60 degrees. So, uh, but great game, cool, like, collab, I don't know, it's like a YouTube collab or something like that, uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, pretty much the, you know, summer variety of the winter ones, I would say that, it's probably vice versa, the winter one came out after, uh, Mario Super Sluggers, so I got this one Nintendo Selects because I played it once, I think, and it was pretty decent, uh, it's very, very, it's like, basically Mario Superstar Baseball or whatever, with motion controls, so, it's like, just not as good. Um, Mario Party 8, never played this game once. Pretty sure I stole it from someone. Sorry. Uh, Star Wars, The Force Unleashed. Dude, I remember getting so lit over this game because I've always loved Star Wars. My dad, like, grew up in the Star Wars fandom. He's literally bred us to be Star Wars fans. And obviously, I was like, yo, you're telling me I get to swing a freaking lightsaber around? Oh! I was on it. I was on it. Star Wars, The Force Unleashed 2. Great game, again, not as good as the first one. The first one I definitely enjoyed more, but it was cool to see the story like completely unfold. Um, so that was at least one upside, was the story wasn't too bad. Um, and then Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This is probably the game that I've, I don't think I've ever been more excited about a game that isn't a Zelda, like, this is probably, okay, maybe Breath of the Wild I was more excited for than Skyward Sword, but honestly, I just remember the pure excitement because this was the first Zelda game that ever came out where I was, like, aware of gaming, really, because, like, I played video games, but I didn't, like, until I met Alex, I never really kept up with video games or anything because I didn't have anybody to really talk about them to, so this was the first Zelda game that came out where I, like, knew it was coming out and, like, could get excited for it. And, uh, oh, was I excited. And it happened to come out during Thanksgiving break. And, oh, yeah, I didn't see my family that week. Um, next, Fire Emblem, Radiant Dawn. Never played this game. I actually bought this game as a, um, as a birthday present for my brother a few years ago. I spent, like, $70 on it. It's honestly the most money that I think I've ever spent on a gift for anybody. You're welcome, Josh. He can't hear me, he's playing Fortnite. But um, yeah, so I got this for my brother. Uh, I think I meant to sell it, never did, but um, yeah. He obviously very much enjoyed it. I think he's played it like four times now. 
All right, so next we'll do the 3DS games. Yay! All right, uh, Super Monkey Ball 3D. Mm, I kind of explained this one earlier. Never really played it much, so don't really have much to say about it. I got it, came out on launch, and it wasn't like too great. Uh, Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. This game, top tier. Love Lego, love Star Wars. We stan, we stan a collab. Um, Pilot Wings Resort. These are the three games that I got at launch. And, um, yeah, Pilot Wings Resort, honestly, is, was, I played so much of this game. It was like, just like the Island Flyover and Wii Sports Resort. Where is Wii Sports Resort? I own it. I know I own it. I don't know where it is. Maybe I lost the case or something. I, I, <laughs> I am a terrible person. Um, next, Star, Star Fox 64 3D. Um, I, Star Fox 64 3D is one of the only uh, N64 games that I remember like extensively playing at all, really. Um, I remember getting to like the desert planet with like the Land Rover. No, that's a car. The tank. The tank. Um, yeah, so they're, you know, yeah. Uh, Super Mario 3D Land. This is already out of order. Oh, I know why it's out of order. We're not going to talk about that. Uh, yeah, I have all of the Zelda games, but I kind of lent them to somebody. And I don't have them anymore. So if there's a lack of Zelda, that's why. Um, yeah, it makes me sad too. Alright, Super Mario 3D Land. It's a basically 2D Mario game put into the 3D realm. It's pretty simple. Fun game still, but you know, nothing like whoa! Just kind of basic. Uh, Super Mario Kart 7. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, another pretty basic Mario Kart game. Uh, Kid Icarus Uprising. Obviously, pretty much everybody in my generation's introduction to Kid Icarus, and fantastic game, hands down. Probably one of the best 3DS games, uh, even to date, with its like eight year catalog now. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, Fire Emblem Awakening, probably, I know a lot of people, I kind of hate on it for being really easy, but this was like what really got me into Fire Emblem games, and now it's one of my favorite franchises, and story-wise, it's just great, and like, if it, I don't know, I just thought it was a good game, and I really enjoyed it, and I've probably dumped well over 300 hours into that game, and had, don't regret any of it. Um, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, hated it, played it for like two hours, Never picked it back up again. So that's what I have to say about that one. Uh, Pokemon X. Great addition to the Pokemon games. I don't know, a lot of people, I don't know. I feel like every, there's always hate around games ever. Like if a game is big, it's there's always something that people have to say about it. I enjoyed X. I've enjoyed every Pokemon game that I've ever played. So I don't know, it's Pokemon X. It was a good time. Uh, they introduced, the, the EV training was like the big thing with it. And I was a huge fan of that because like, it was a good time. Uh, Super Smash Bros. 3DS. I played this one a good bit, but not that much. Not as much as a lot of people have, but um, it's Smash. You guys know about Smash. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Um, loved it because Gen 3 is my favorite, and yeah, that's, it, yeah, okay, love that one. Uh, Zelda Triforce Heroes. Sadly, I've never had two other people to play it with, to like sit down and really play it. So I've never actually beaten it, and I have not really gotten anywhere in the game. I'm gonna have a sleepover with my friends one day, and uh, we're just gonna sit down and we're just gonna play Triforce Heroes, because that's what guys do at sleepovers. Everybody always asks, like, what do you, you know, we know what girls do, but what do guys do? We sit there and play video games. What do you think we do? Uh, next, Fire Emblem, Birthright. Still haven't beaten it. I got stuck in the sewer level with Camilla in... I beat it, I beat that level now, but I like got stuck. I also really only like playing Fire Emblem games when I'm on like a road trip because that's how like, that's what my brothers would always do. They would always play Fire Emblem games whenever we were traveling anywhere. And so like, I've just associated it with like, now like plane rides, I play Fire Emblem. That's like all I can do on a plane besides looking out the window and doing nothing. So it's either nothing or Fire Emblem. I can't do anything else. So it's like, I would say it's pick your poison, but it's like, Pick a poison or pick like a freaking treat, dude. Like a snack. All right, next, Pokemon Moon. I honestly, Gen 7 is one of my favorite generations. I know a lot of people are like, 
but I'm like, <laughs> Gen 7 is great. Uh, and Fire Emblem Echoes, Shadows of Valentia. So this is a uh, Fire Emblem, what is it, Gaiden? Gaiden? Fire, this is like the second Fire Emblem game, they remade it and loved it. I liked how it was so simple. That's one of the things that I didn't like about Fates was it's so com complex and complicated. And I feel like all of that like takes away from the core combat of the game. And I, I like the return to just like super, super simple gameplay. I was big fan of it. Um, all right, next we're gonna move on to our Wii U games. Uh, Mario Kart 8. It's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, dumbed down. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm All right. <laughs> I actually really like Mario Kart 8, but now that it's on the Switch, there's no reason to play it. Uh, Pokémon Tournament. Uh, really fun, actually. I'm terrible at fighting games. I always have been, but, um, it's, like, it's simple. It's fun to play, like, if you're playing against somebody who also sucks at fighting games, like, this is, like, a really fun game to play, in my opinion. Like, I would play Ben, and, like, pretty much, like, one would win periodically because like for like a period of time because one of us would figure out how to do like a new combo and we would just like repeat and it would never end and that's all we would do and like that's how we would win but then the other person would figure out one and then you'd lose and vice versa and kind of swapped like that it's a fun game uh super smash bros wii u smash 4 and this is actually my sister's game uh fun fact i never actually bought this game for myself besides on the 3ds uh, because I just always stole my sister's copy, not that I really ever played it myself anyways. I don't even have the GameCube adapter. That shows you how much of a fake fan I am. Um, I'm not bad at it, but I'm not good. Uh, Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess HD. Probably one of the worst HD remakes I've ever played, considering you can literally play Twilight Princess. I, it didn't make sense why they made it, because you can play Twilight Princess on the Wii U. Like, with the Wii disc. It didn't really make much sense. I didn't really see much of an improvement in the game. They didn't really add anything. The Wolf Link Amiibo was cool, but not that cool. Um, all right, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. This is literally where Thick Fish was born, so it's obviously the greatest game in the entire universe. Uh, but it's also just a solid Donkey Kong Country game. Uh, Star Fox Zero. It's Star Fox 64 in HD graphics. Scribblenauts Unlimited. I didn't play this game a huge amount, but it's not bad. It's fun. I feel like it's definitely more geared towards children, um, but you can get some enjoyment out of it. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3. I actually, this is one of the games I got on launch, if I'm not mistaken, and I actually played it a lot. Like, a lot. Like, I played through the whole game, and like, I did so many of the extras, and this was my first Assassin's Creed game that I ever played of two. I played Black Flag, and Black Flag was in my opinion, much better than Assassin's Creed 3 because they took the one thing everybody loved in Assassin's Creed 3 and they basically made a whole game around it. Just like Captain Toad. Super Mario Bros. U. I don't like 2D Mario games, so as you can tell, I don't really have much to say about it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Wind Waker HD. Oh my god, bless this game. Literally, Wind Waker on the GameCube anyways already still looks good and fine like it passes like really well like it is aged probably of all of the games on the GameCube it's probably one of the best aged games to date period and it's just because of the graphics it's shell shaded so you know obviously it's like you know it's just like blocks I don't know anyways but um they just this game it was great I don't know they they definitely put more effort into this game than they did in Twilight Princess but I feel like a lot of that was just because it's easier to make shell shaded graphics look better than more realistic graphics uh but you know obviously loved it just the lighting effects just make that game so beautiful and i have so many selfies from that game oh my god you can go back on my instagram and find it if you're watching this video right now leave a comment on that post on my instagram page please so i know that you watched all the way to this point in the video which is probably way too long because i've been recording for 36 minutes this is gonna be way too long of a video. Uh, <laughs> Pikmin 3. I've never beaten this game because the last boss scared me so much that I had to stop playing. Great game otherwise though, great game. Uh, Nintendo Land, dude, this game gets slept on but Nintendo Land is fantastic and honestly is, in my opinion, as good as like Mario Party, not on the Wii U, like the good Mario Party games. But um, no, like, the, especially like the multiplayer ones, like they're so fun to play. They're so fun to play. And I've never like 
been like bored playing this game with a group of friends because it is so fun. Honestly, there's moments where I don't think I've ever laughed harder than when playing Nintendo Land. So, yeah. Uh, Super Mario 3D World. It's pretty much 3D Land on the Wii U, but uh, you know, it's just, it's a pretty generic 3D Mario game. There's nothing really too special about it. Uh, and I would say the thing that is the most special about it is Captain Toad. And speaking of Captain Toad, Captain Toad, because, oh my god, probably one of my favorite Mario, my favorite Mario character, period. Uh, he's so cute, and I've, fun fact also, I've never beaten this game because I literally enjoyed it so much. I, I had so much fun playing this game that I didn't want it to end, so I just stopped playing it. I got, like, maybe two-thirds of the way through, and I was like, I don't want to ever beat this game. I don't want this to, I want to be able to come back one day and be able to play this fresh. And so I never beat it. It's still there. And then lastly, this weird piss-colored Star Fox guard game. Some BS right there, but you know, whatever. It's like literally the only Wii U game that has this like weird off-white color. Why did you do that? I don't know. All right, next, Wii U games, or I mean Switch games. Oh God, that was bad. 1-2 Switch. Mm, it's 1-2 Switch. Mm, there's not really much to talk about there. Don't buy it. Unless it's on like used or sale. It's not worth $50. Breath of the Wild. Not my favorite Zelda game, but it is hard to argue that this is not like one of the, in my opinion, like best made games, like period. This game is revolutionary, especially for the Zelda franchise. Um, and I do still enjoy it so much. Um, it's Breath of the Wild. It is just, it is a masterpiece of a game. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, one of the better ports, I would say, to the Nintendo Switch, uh, just because they really like, compared to the base game, it has like twice the content almost. So like, that's good. I'm good that like the port was actually like good and was worth the money. Um, ARMS. Man, I loved ARMS, it was fun, but I just couldn't get past the game modes and the multiplayer and how there was so little choice in what you could do. And also like, I don't know, I just always found myself getting freaking spanked, dude. Spanked. I felt like, you know, you progress really far and I don't know, it was, the multiplayer I feel like was not fleshed out very well, but really creative idea and I love them for that. Splatoon 2, uh, pretty sure this might be my most played, no. One of my most played games. I love Splatoon 2. I didn't really play it much when it first came out, and I started playing it last spring, like, way too much. And, wow, I love Splatoon. Don't even own Splatoon 1, though, but got Splatoon 2. Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. My favorite Switch game, just from a strategy standpoint, it, it's a good game. Like, it's really good. It takes a little while to, like, really ramp up, but, like, if you do, like, the challenge levels and stuff like that, like, this game, like can be really, really hard. And I love that. I love hard turn-based strategy games. Oh, so good. Just like a fun game too, it looks really nice. Uh, didn't like the expansion though. I wasn't a fan of the expansion um, because you couldn't use your characters from the main game and I wasn't. I didn't really like that. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey, another masterpiece of a Switch game. Revolutionized the 3D Mario games. It's Mario Odyssey. There's really not much to say there. Um, Nintendo Labo, Toy Cons 1 and 2. Again, not, you know, Toy Cons 1 and 2. Not much to say there either. Mario Tennis Aces. Uh, sadly, I don't, I like forgot that I own this game and I have not played it since I bought it. And I feel kind of bad because it was actually, like, I enjoyed playing it. And I sh need to get back into it and at least finish the story mode eventually. Um, and Super Mario Party, this game just came out. Only played one game so far on it, but. It was fun. I like, I like it. I like it a lot. It reminds me of older Mario Party games, which was the whole point to go back to like the regular formula. Um, I would recommend it, especially if you're a Mario Party fan. Um, and lastly, we have our PS4 games. I only have five because I just recently got my PlayStation 4. But um, yeah, do I have five? Yeah. Uh, so we have Horizon Zero Dawn. I picked this up used, it was like 20 bucks. Haven't played it yet, but it is on my list. Uh, Spider-Man, oh my god, this game was so good. 
this game was so good. If you guys ever played Spider-Man 2 on the GameCube or whatever it was on, PlayStation, uh, which we used to have, but we don't anymore, but um, it it's like that, but like HD and like beautiful and better in so many ways. But um, Spider-Man on the PlayStation, oh my god. Uh, Final Fantasy 15, haven't played it yet, so I'm excited. I've never played a, like a true Final Fantasy game, so I am excited to play it. Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5 Remix. Um, honestly, not really sure how much to say about Kingdom Hearts. I haven't played it much yet to really give like a definitive opinion, but uh, I'm a little undecided right now. I'm not like mm, ec ecstatic about it. And The Last of Us Remastered. This game is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I cannot recommend this game more. It is probably one of my favorite games that I've ever played. Um, so many emotions, scared the shit out of me, and just overall, like, a more than fantastic game, and I highly recommend it. Um, all right, so yeah, that is my, uh, wow, look at that, look at that, my, look at my game collection here, wow. Actually, when you stack it up like that, it's not all that bad. Dang. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Also, please don't forget to download Snups and join my group. But um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this was like a really, really long one. I didn't expect it to be this long, but uh, I wound up just like with all of the games and stuff, I just wanted to talk about them, I guess. I don't know. It's fun. Yeah, obviously, these games mean a lot to me, and they mean a lot to a lot of other people. And uh, I think sharing a little, little tiny story about each of them is, I don't know, it's enjoyable. But, uh, yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments below if you guys have similar games, if you guys have similar stories or anything. Uh, just literally talk to me. I read all of my comments, so if I don't read, like, there's hardly any comments that I ever miss. So, please leave comments down in the description because I love hearing what you guys have to say. Um, and, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.